Welcome back Pest Collectors! I have John Devlin in the house today. <laughs> he said he got some really, 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 really like the coolest Pez you've ever gotten maybe? Oh no. No? <laughs> <laughs> but some, got... some things I didn't have or hope I don't have. Yeah. So he got some cool packages <clears throat> and he said, let's make a video. So I said, heck yeah, come on over and uh, let's open these up. I don't even know what he bought. Okay, well you'll know so, in a minute. Greg probably knows, but I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, recently, uh, David Welch, I guess it was just this past Sunday, mm -hmm. I saw these on his site. He's got a Facebook page also, and anybody can click there and see what he has for sale. And there was a couple items there that I knew I didn't have, and I thought, well, I'll see if they're still available. <laughs> and they were, so we'll get to see those two. It's only two things. Oh. But it must be something really good. Yeah, there's things that, and they're not pricey, they're just things I really wanted to have. And he said they were both still available. And over the years, David's always had great things. Some of my best items ever came from David Welch, or John Laspina, or Joe Paravati, or there's a bunch of other people too, actually. Yeah. Locally, there's another guy called Michael G. Got wonderful things from him. Does he sell vintage? He sells vintage, and I'm in pinball machines too, and so uh. is Michael, <laughs> which is great. So. I bought my first advent calendar from him. Oh, nice. and I remember and I him got mine shipping from it. Him. Did you? Yeah. And he shipped it, and I was like, "Oh, it's a St. Louis address." And I think I remember him. Did he used to go to the convention? Oh yeah. 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 I think I remember him. Yeah. Him and his brother. Yeah. So this first one looks like no big deal. It's just a uh, <laughs> Sylvester. So, but the difference is. Sylvester's eyes are on the side of his head <laughs> and so that's something different for me and also a lot of times these heads are black this is more of the blue oh yeah color and I thought that was a really good price for my so I do have I, I have like a blue okay. Sylvester is that more rare I think it's hard, harder to get than the black one the black one I'm not gonna say rare yeah so take a closer look at this that is super cool. Like you popped that out of the box and I was like, that Sylvester is looking at me. What do you think? I've got eyes in the back of my head? Well, close. <laughs> that is super cool. I don't, I've never seen that. Is okay. that something that you've seen like well, in other collections yes. as well? or Other um, things are misprinted. Oh. So I like collecting misprinted things. I especially like it when the eyes are somewhere else. I don't think, I don't know if I've ever noticed like, an, yeah, and the eyes printed few, wrong, right. but uh. But you have to show them the sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> but these are John's Pez, so <laughs> be careful with them. That's a nice yellow sleeve. Right. That was actually very reasonably priced. I think it was like $35. So That's not bad. I was very happy to get that. This other one is Foghorn Leghorn. It looks like no big deal, You're except to find for something wrong with it. Yeah, the, the difference is it's a thin foot but it's a 2.6 stem, oh. which usually 2.6 stems have no feet. This one has feet, yeah. and that's what made me buy it. Um, also, my foghorn and leghorns are a different color shade stem, but I mainly bought it mainly because it's a 2.6. It's only my second 2.6 stem with feet. Oh, wow. So I was very happy to get this. What's your other one, is it? Um, <laughs> My other one is Winnie the Pooh. Oh, really? So how much would really? something like that like run I you think if you're looking this for was, those? I think this was like $120, oh. which I also thought was a great deal. That's not too bad. Yeah. That's that. cool. Like I like the different stem variations you can look for. It's made in yeah. Austria. Right. That's cool. So it's a thin foot 2.6. There you go. So how rare do you think these are? Like if someone was looking There's, for a 2.6 out in the world? Um, it's going to be probably from some other dealer. If you find them, they're usually not out there that often. Uh, but they are out there. Yeah. So I guess if you're looking for Pez or if you're at a Pez convention and you're like, oh, I already have that with... Well, I would not be able... Look. If I went through a whole bunch of them, I couldn't... I can't see that with my glasses. I'd have I know, to have that's a, the problem. a magnifier. <laughs> Young kids, I'm sure they could instantly see. <laughs> I have a hard time yeah. reading the pet, and it's just there's hard to read because it's like sometimes they're like right. real distinct, and other times they're like a flat. Yeah, it. that's cool. 
Well, that's the two items I got from David. The next box I got from Joe Caravati. He had a whole bunch of Pez recently for sale. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of it sold pretty quickly. Yeah, we bought, there's a whole, there's a box down here on the but floor. You're doing Saturday. Yeah, so Saturday, come to our live stream with Greg and me, yeah. and we're gonna open it. And I don't know what's all in in the box, but Greg is like, we need to start promoting this because. And the live feed is fun lot. to watch. Yeah. yeah. Can you guys talk for about an hour and a half or so? Yeah, or almost sometimes the battery two goes hours. Out? Yeah. yeah. Well, this week we did get uh, sitting over that thing right there is a cord to plug the camera in. So hopefully this week we won't earn our G's. <laughs> and so Joe also knows that I like the elephants. And so he put like, I don't know if you can see the <laughs> three little elephants on here. Yeah. And of course, Joe's known for anything with the pineapple. Oh, yeah. If you buy something from him, he usually sends something of a pineapple on it. Yeah, they, don't they call him like Joe Pineapple? <laughs> and some people call him Joe Pineapple. <laughs> is that just because his last name is hard to pronounce? Or is no, he like pineapple? I think it's always that he liked pineapple. <laughs> he used to go by something else totally different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, but I don't know if he uses that. Joe got something I'm not going to say. Oh yeah, so when I say oh, he likes cool. pineapple, so there you go. It's like a whole branding experience when you buy from Joe. Yeah. <laughs> cute. We have a live studio audience over here today. Oh yeah, so my wife's in the background. <laughs> no, it's fun. I like She's it. not a Pez person, but she thought that was cute. So. I like it because it's like the it's like when they record like a sitcom or you in the oh, you hear the real people gosh. in the audience. <laughs> right. And of course I love orange and some of these rubber bands just happen to be orange also. And this is why you bought it, just for the pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some pricey bags. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is one of the elephants. Mm. And again, a lot of times I will buy elephants hoping that it's a slightly different shade than I already have. Um, and I won't know until I'm at home and compare them all. Yes, so. that happens. Let's show that one off. Right. And this is a elephant with the little pointy hat. Pointy hat. There you go. It's got the orange head, a blue pointy hat, and a blue stem that matches the hat really nicely. Right. This, is and this a, looks like exactly the same thing, but I'm pretty sure the pointy hat's oh, different yeah. color. Yeah, they're different. Is. Even the stem's a different color. Yes. That's cool. I may still have both of those, but it's still worth taking a shot. Oh, and when you're oh, an look. elephant hunter. I don't, yeah, the sleeve colors. And the Here, let's show different. these. Sure. This is the first one he opened up. And then, uh, ooh, look at that. A really pretty yellow sleeve. I'm all about the sleeve colors. <laughs> you are. For sure. I never knew that until like recently. I'm, and you keep finding these vintage pads with different sleeve colors. Yeah. And then uh, here we go. This one's got a pink sleeve. Oh my gosh! Wait, you did? A, you bought a lot. <laughs> yeah. And here's this one's a, another pointy head. Um, but you'll see this. Um, is a lighter color, this is the darker color. Look how shiny that is. And that's part of it too. So this is the dull version, mm -hmm. or matte finish, or satin, and then that's the shinier. That's really nice. This one also, I believe, has a pink. pink Let's here. show them uh... So this one here has like the shiny head. Oh, look at that glossiness in the video. <laughs> This one's not, this one's pretty glossy, but not as glossy. These look really nice. Is that another one? Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. And it's got a really, well, this is a light, a lighter pink sleeve. Yeah. And the candy pusher is that same color. Yep. The tongue's darker on that Sometimes too. there's different color shades of tongues, yes. Looks like it just lighter ate a, a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one, it's more the raised Pez word. Oh yeah. You know, actually that might be as much. So it looks possibly. Yeah, that one looks higher. a lot more. Oh, wrong side. Yeah. Well, they might be the same. Maybe, yeah, that, I don't know, but that That's one does a flat look. flat top, yeah. It wouldn't have mattered I bought it because it was a flat top and looked a little bit different. See the hat differences? So this one here has a flat hat. 
This one here has like a little rounded nubby hat. <laughs> and here is another. This one doesn't have a flat, no country, no country on, on it. Now this is the truly flat finish. If oh you yeah. See how? Let's see. None of them are as flat as this. This would be the closest, I guess. There's a glossy. This is not at all <laughs> in comparison. I have one. Mine over there is like this. My first one I got because I remember like getting it and it's right, right there. That was my first elephant. Yeah, look. Wait. Yes, is that... looks very close. Yep. I say yes. It is. Even the same stem color. So this is the one with the really flat head. I'll do a side by side comparison of all these two sure. once we're done. Yeah, here's a yellow. Ooh, elephant. I like, I like those. That. They seem to be a little bit you harder to get You sold us that yellow the one, with the, but the one we got has the hair. Yes, because I had two hat. of the exact same. Uh. <laughs> so what happened, and this happens to me sometimes, I bought an elephant with hair, hoping it was one that mm. was slightly different. It was the exact same one I had. So I sold Aaron and Greg it to them for what I paid for. Yeah, I appreciate it because I don't. Yeah, most yeah. of my elephants over there are like that orange, and I, we had a gray one, but now I have a yellow one. So there you go. There's the yellow elephant. I don't know. If, I don't know if we showed my yellow elephant on the channel here. I think we forgot. You can grab it. It's like right. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cute. Very nice. <laughs> so this is mine. Yep. And see how it has. A little hair on it and then uh, this is John's new one with the little hat and the hair ones are more are harder to find than the hats mm. but that I need it I need one of these now <laughs> <laughs> you can put that put one that back, back over there otherwise you might end up going home with it yeah, <laughs> then I got a couple of octopuses oh nice uh, this one's a USA stem mm. Basically orange. So what's the common color? We have some. Oct I took my octopuses down. They used to sit yeah. over there. Is the black? I, I don't. Know. Some people say yes, but I'm happy to get any of the octopuses. So octopi. Octopi. <laughs> <laughs> you like the. You I like, like these a lot. Yes, I think yeah. you have a. You have an eye for these elephants, but you also have I like these a love for slowly. these. Uh, like Halloween ones. And then this is another one on a yellow stem and it's also USA. Oh nice. So it seems lately that people are looking for USA mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. stem wise. And again, There's Aaron's some... really good at this, but just to remind people, if oh, you're yeah. in someone's room and you're <laughs> at a convention, you don't want to grab it by the head and pull it. You just <laughs> push it from the bottom. And that's if they let you touch it at all. And then pull it out like that. Yeah. But you know, these are very old, so they're not really made to play with much anymore. Yeah. So. This one has a uh, real nice color. Is that like a white, right. off white color? No. It's real opaque, I guess. Yeah, I might have. I know I have. There's this octopus. For, the, for these being USA stems, and they're so hard to find, it seems like there's a lot of them out there, though. Yes. Or not really. Yeah. You know, you're right. There's but at one time, people weren't actively yeah. chasing USA stems like they are now. Just like if you buy your specter, all those rubber heads, mm -hmm. you're going to be looking for USA stem. If it doesn't have a USA stem, I expect it to be you know, less oh. of a, a price, so cheaper. I'm hoping this is a cow bee. Like, do you know the whole like history behind the USA stems? Because it seems like. They must not have made them for that long. And then the fact that Pez actually made like they, stems here in the United States right. versus that, that's well, everything's manufactured outside. Right. But at one time, and part of the story was they wanted to, first of all, um, the president at the time was Kurt Alina, and his idea for rubber heads, which were the ones we all know about, the respecters, but there was also some Disney ones. Oh. But the idea was they would buy the heads and store the stems and attach them in the U.S. all at one time and save space. But that whole thing was a flop. That, so, so that was the whole idea? But I don't know if that's why USA is what it is now. Mm. I know that was a very short window, and I guess it's cheaper to get them overseas than here. 
That's a guess. Yeah. I don't know the facts. It's always interesting because you don't see like many toys and anything really mm. like manufactured here. And I have a few cow bees and I usually try to buy cow bees for myself and somebody else. If I have it, I know the other person that will want it. You know, that's hard to get. So. Another pest collector? Another pest collector <laughs> that I've known forever in yeah. Linda. But anyway, so this was, of everything I bought today, this was the priciest one, but I was very happy to get it. How much do you think? And I can tell you in a minute, I have to oh. <laughs> look my little sheet up. This one's oh. really nice. I like different colors. Yeah. Like the the horns and the ears, the head and the snout. Is that like they get the right body parts? Are all different colors. <laughs> and then the stem is a really nice blue color. This is a made in Austria. There you go. It's got a a white sleeve in there. I like this one a lot. Here, you push the head oh, down. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, won't even I get bother. nervous touching other like people's pets. Yeah. Sometimes I'm I'll just leave it yeah. myself without shoving it the rest yeah. of the way. And so a lot of times on, just so you know, on cow bees, not a lot, but sometimes you'll see the bottom part of the snout has a little chip and it's just because it keeps hitting. It's, you know, they're not made to keep uh -huh. using. They're basically, the company wants you to buy it, eat the candy and throw this away. So yeah, these are, are kind of more on the fragile side and any dispenser that has a translucent stem they're mm -hmm. always more fragile oh, also yeah. but yeah so i like this one because of the snout color sometimes the ears the yellows are different shades and sometimes the horns there's different shades of blue mm -hmm. for the horns so but there's a lot of people out there that are big into clown bees are they yes so i have a couple <laughs> maybe uh, yeah, maybe one? Wait, two? One? I was just gonna say... Oh, no, those are cowies. Yeah, so the one I have is pretty good looking too. It is. I think, Greg got, I think I, Greg got this from Welch. And I like that it's an orange stem. This is uh... It's my cow. That's blue on blue on blue. <laughs> and they all match the yeah. blues. But I like the multicolor one. I'm gonna have to tell Greg to look for some of those. And, and it looks like these blues are the same. Oh yeah. But there's a darker blue orange too. And we keep talking, this is cow B. Aaron has a cow A there, maybe you wanna pull that oh. out to show them the difference. People sometimes forget what A or B is. Always think of cow B, cow big. So B is big and cow A is the other version, which is small. <laughs> you hold that one up there. There you go. <laughs> So they did look a lot different, like. Right. And price-wise, all of these have to do with color. So there are some of those, like that cow in purple would be much more expensive than this cow. Mm. But in blue or some of the yellows, that these are much more economical. Yeah, the purple cow, does it have like uh, orange accents or something? But It can, yes. Can? Or maybe I just see ones like that. Or is there a green head one too? Yeah. Those are pretty oh, yeah. cool. Oh, yeah. cool. <laughs> she likes the ones that are on the pricier <laughs> side. Much more rare. Well, whenever you see like And for the... some reason, some of these cow A's, the, the kicker on the back is broken. Uh, on, on, you know, on the rare colors weird. of all things. Because I have a friend and we were looking at his stuff and it was Mike, Mike Chadwick, who's no longer with us, but one of my best friends. His, if it wasn't for his, well, who would that be the grand... Tyler. Tyler was there talking to me and he goes, yeah, it's too bad it has a broken kicker. I go, what? So I pulled it out and looked mm. and sure enough, the kicker was broken on it. So, wow. But that does happen on some stuff. And then also when you're buying an expensive Pez, it's always a good idea to go ahead and lift the sleeve or push the stem and look at the sleeve to make sure it's not damaged. Because mm. there are things that get damaged. On the, on the inner sleeves. And I don't really care on a $10 dispenser, but on a high-end one, oh yeah, that that's a big deal. Yeah. Oh. Or sometimes you see like rust, like whenever you like pull these out and you can see like, I don't know if it is rust, but it's like- No, you're right, kind of, the, the kind of, like, spring rusted dust. through there. Yeah, yes. on it, so. Sometime. 
and you have the right color of the sponge, you can see it on a lot of times an orange stem or a translucent orange oh. that really shows through our yellow. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got uh There's a lot of Mickey Mouses out there. That, that look yes, like they that. rusted. Yeah, we had a uh, when we just got in the live stream, I think it was a I think it was Daffy, I wanna say Daffy Duck. Mm -hmm. And it had like this like I think the spring on the inside was rusting and uh, I stuck the Q-tip up there and cleaned it. You can, clean and then because you could see it, and then yeah. I cleaned it, and it looked really good. Nice. Like it looked brand new then. Yeah, so yeah. that's another tip, I guess. If you do get like a rusty one, yes, you, you might be able to clean it. But just be careful. Sometimes you pull it and break it. But yes. Yeah, so. yeah. That was just like a ten. $15 yeah. <laughs> so I was right. just like, yeah. I'm gonna make this look good. But yeah, when you get more expensive ones, you have to sure. be real careful with them. <laughs> so the octopus was $150. I already said the cow bee was $450. Basically, the elephants are anywhere from $85 to $135. Mm. Yeah, elephants are seem like ones that if you want to collect some vintage that are kind of fun. Yeah, that aren't colorful. too bright. They won't yeah. break the bank. Yeah. Um, until you start getting into colors like pink or <laughs> um, the hair, some of the hair. The hair. Different ones, I guess. What's like, uh, you know, off the top of your head, like what one of the most expensive elephants might be? Or most rare? Uh, no. no. I do know the one that took me the longest to get, which took 30 years. That was blue head with white hair. And I got that from John Lespina just this last, I think this year or last year. That's your most rare? At Ohio. That's the hardest one for me to ever get wow. of an elephant. Yeah. I've been looking for it for years and just didn't really ever see it for <laughs> sale. Yeah. I so, knew people had it in their collection, but they weren't selling it. So John, what makes these elephants so special to you? I know you like I just them like so much. Uh, like being a big game hunter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I just like the look of them. Yeah. Some of the simple pets, I like the I like them. Um, fatter bunnies. They're yeah. very basic dispenser. Some people hate them. Some people love them. I do. The octopus, it's just a one-piece item. Mm -hmm. I really like those, mm -hmm. you know. When they do the fatter bunny, you wonder who thought that up because yeah. it's just kind of <laughs> almost spooky or creepy, Here. you know. If you're new to Pez, you don't know what a F E B. And the one she just uh, grabbed, that's a nice, oh, sorry. pretty one. But this is the creepier one. So put it next to each other. <laughs> Can you tell it's like the colors are just like a flesh tone, like somebody skinned a rabbit <laughs> to me, you know. And there, there's many variations in between that, but yes. So. I always joke with Greg, I'm like, people call them the fat ear bunny, it's going to give them a complex because... Right. They're, I mean, their ears, I guess, are thicker than a regular bunny, but... I and don't then know. these are, a lot of them, these are not the cheap ones, but a lot of them, you can find them fairly cheap, and when you start getting rows of them, you're going to look for... Maybe the pupils of the eyes being bigger oh. or smaller and think, oh, that, that's nice. Or the way the paint job is, or even the one little speck of on the snout. Sometimes it's oh. off to the side. <laughs> and when you don't have much money in it, you'll get every version and, and have a nice wall of them. Yeah. So. <laughs> they're pretty easy to find. And they are pretty easy to and they're, find. Most of them are pretty expensive. Yeah, like you said, some Correct. of them cost right. a the, lot more. The ones that are going to be harder to find, instead of having this post on the side, it has a wire that goes through mm. from one side to the other. Those are going to be a little more. Yeah, we don't have any of those. Yeah. Is this a uh, butterscotch? Yeah, I, again, you have to have a whole wall to explain yeah. that. I was trying to um, figure that out, like just based on like... Some people will say that. To me, I will never buy, pay much for those unless I see them in person because I already have so many mm -hmm. and I don't want to pay a lot for one that I know <laughs> somebody else will go well this is the common color and yeah. I paid too much for it so it'll be hard for me to get rid of it if I already have mm -hmm. yeah elephants are never a problem to get rid of cow bees cow A's people always want oh, them yeah. it's not going to be a problem yeah I'm trying to do an FEB video and I want to make sure that when I say the colors, <laughs> the, the actual colors that they are, because it's hard to tell, because like people will have like lists, but yeah. they won't have pictures. Or their pictures are real, you know, like dark and light, or like just like you said, like you don't know what color it is until you actually get it in your hands. Yes. So I want to make a video showing the FEBs and saying like this is for sure these colors to help people out, because I think if help. I'm if I have trouble with it, then you know other yes. people are gonna have trouble with it. So. Right. And so we're just showing 
pink, but there's also yellow, and then there's endless shades of that also. <laughs> so. It goes on forever. Because <laughs> you think like, oh, I have this light pink color, and then you'll get another one that's like just a little bit off. Right. Or maybe right. it's set in the sun, or maybe, you know, someone smoked or... And, changes it just a little bit or the factory worker that they put a little too much dye in <laughs> right right so all the stuff that I got the things I'm happiest about is this item from David Welch and this item from Joe Piravati yeah. so everything else is wonderful but these were the ones I was most excited to see in person <laughs> and they didn't let me down <laughs> so would you say that that's a more rare color since you're pretty um, excited to get it or you just... I'm happy to get it. I mean, I, it, it's priced accordingly. Yeah. But, but again, it's not something that you can't just go in that people's convention rooms. They'll have this. Mm. They won't. They'll have the common, more common old blue one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're very, very nice. Yeah, it's very, very nice. nice. I All these look so good. And they're all like really nice condition too. Like Right. I know. I should have brought that up. So a lot of times the octopus, and I've had a lot of them too, where they get sun faded so easy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's not even sun, just room light from so often, it will, you'll see darker pieces in between and really faded on the top. And you can tell when you turn around, the back side doesn't match the front. Oh yeah. So that's a dead giveaway of it. So th that is something to look for on the orange octopus. Yeah, the red tip. ones you also, but they're very obvious. And then the black ones just hard to find anyway. Are they? I'm always happy to find them. <laughs> so. Then there's a whole nother world of octopus where you're watching for like the color of the eyes. Mm -hmm. So this one, it's got a white background with green eyes, but a harder one to find is a black background with white eyes or, or other. So. I think I have. I, I think I, I took my octopuses down right. recently, or octopi, or whatever. But like, there's actually I a have book on ones. octopus <laughs> done by um, Jeff Rosenberg, uh -huh. and if you're into octopus, you probably need that book yeah. <laughs> to find out more about it. It's like one another one of those like it's unending variations yeah, of what you could collect. Right. <laughs> well, thanks. Uh, for bringing over your boxes. I thought that yeah, was a lot was of fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, I thought somebody different for, hey, and do I get to do the hand thing? Oh yeah, wait, wait, not yet, oh, not yet. Oh, okay, don't, I don't know the rules here. This is my first time over here. <laughs> not unless you're just like done. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks John for coming over, I really appreciate it. And we're gonna film another you're video after this too. Okay. So look forward to that video. We're in a sneak peek, so what we're gonna see. Um, it'll so, be stuff about Easter. Yeah. So, so Easter stuff I don't have in my collection. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't even know what he brought it. over. So, Because <laughs> I'm on a big Easter kick right now. I'm trying to get a bunch of Easter videos in before Easter. Which I guess is in, what, like a month now? Maybe a little yeah. over a month. Right. So we're going to be doing Easter videos for quite some time. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed, you know, you might want to hit that subscribe button. And uh, should they give the video a thumbs up? Sure. Or a thumbs down? I hope it's a thumbs up. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to help support the channel, I do have a buy me a coffee, but I call it buy me a pest dispenser. So if you want to help support my channel, I really appreciate it. Don't forget about our live stream coming up on Saturday because Greg joins me on the live stream. John usually is in the chat, so. <laughs> Well, Hopefully fun. you're not doing anything on Saturday you're going to watch. Yeah, I try to. So. <laughs> At least while you're like cleaning the house or... And actually even if you miss pose. the live stream right afterwards, you can go to it and see oh, it yeah, later. yeah. Just you cannot respond then. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to actually ask us questions or interact yes. with us, you know, say hey Aaron or Greg, then you're going to want to join us live because that's the most fun I think. Yeah, it's <laughs> I enjoy doing it. Now you, now you can... Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Give it a slap. I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf. Full of dust, you'll know it's me and from nobody.